Hello and welcome to the space that gives you inspiration on work, on life and how to balance both worlds. Now, the month of March is the month of womanhood. And I mean, I guess it's because we celebrate Women's Day on this day. I want to use this month to talk about womanhood. And also last, last year, when I told you guys that one of the lessons that I'd learned was on femininity, you guys were just like, guys, I want more, Manuel, I want more on femininity. I want more, I want more, and want more and more and more. And so I actually want to dedicate this entire month to womanhood and femininity because I also understand that I, I learned fem femininity from uh, my girl, Helga, who unfortunately is not running her course anymore. Now, I'm, not, I'm in no way able to do the entire course <laughs> for you, unfortunately. And I'm not in any way even going to get, give you any of the information that she gave me, but I'm going to give you my own fair understanding of what femininity is. Now, I need to give you guys a quick disclaimer. <laughs> that i'm not yet there i i have not yet arrived in that place of pure femininity i'm still on a journey and i'm still learning and sometimes i fail and sometimes i do it right but i'm gonna try and answer i mean and talk about femininity over the, the month of march stay tuned So, let's start with the basics. What exactly is femininity? Like, how do you define femininity? And essentially, femininity is just the attributes that are <laughs> given to a woman. Like, that's how basic I can say it is. And so, for us as women, what exactly are our attributes and what are our characteristics? Now, some of these are, <laughs> they have been defined by society. They've told us what, what are the characteristics of a woman. Uh, they've been defined by religion. They've been, they've been defined by all of these things. And that's why I guess things like um, the fight against patriarchy has come up and feminism has come up. And all of these, you know, big fights on womanhood and manhood and masculinity and femininity but in my journey um you know i started my journey of femininity after i got married and the reason that as as to why i did it was because of my character i'm predominantly choleric and i'm strong-headed and i am firm and i know what i want but this character within the confines of a masculine man, <laughs> we were clashing. And my husband is your typical masculine guy. He wants to make the decisions. He's, you know, like, he's, he's a boss, okay? And here I was, my character um, made me want to also be the boss but we couldn't be two bosses in the same home <laughs> and so it was within the confines of our marriage that I was asking myself questions like but why exactly are we clashing so much why are we clashing so much and my husband used to keep saying things like we can't have two bulls in a crowd and so the attributes of a man versus the attributes of a woman are what define femininity and masculinity. And for my husband, who's predominantly masculine, it was very easy for him to show me that the traits in myself that were very similar to his that made me very masculine. And so I, 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 I started this journey of femininity and I wanted to understand it. And I guess for me, my biggest struggle was Lord and it was with God. And I was asking God, I was saying, God, why is it that you made me this strong headed person, this very determined person, this, I, I mean, I was your typical chick that changes tires and changes bulbs. And I was asking myself if that's not 
a feminine thing to do why did you give it to me so those were my those were my constant struggles with god until he nicely and in such a little package box told me the difference he he told me when i needed to be how he created me and how when he created me he gave me that when i should apply my feminine attributes and when i should i apply my masculine um attributes so he told me about the song of solomon woman if you guys have listened to how solomon describes this lady she's absolutely feminine she's feminine three one one plus a hundred she's extremely feminine i mean he's talking about her body and how she smells and how she looks and how she makes him feel a certain way completely feminine but then he also showed me the proverbs 31 woman who was the woman who's who's being described by her husband to the outside world who she is seen as who who she is to the outside world for god to show me that the feminine side of this woman is seen by her husband is appreciated by her husband while the more quote unquote masculine proverbs 31 woman who goes out and treads and whatever and whatever is seen outside of her home i was like yo lord and so i said okay looks like i got this this masculinity thing figured out right when i immediately i get out of the door and i'm at work and i'm in work mode i'm in work 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 mode but then when i get into the house i continue the work mode the more masculine side and so i needed to work on the more feminine side of me so what is a feminine side and like i've said you just need to look at the song of solomon woman she's she's softer she's not rough around the edges she's she's soft she's almost she's almost delicate yeah um she's it's it's what you feel when you're around her it's what you it's 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 i feel like it's uh femininity is a presence have you have you gone and met someone and they just feel feminine and it's and we're not talking about the they're wearing pink and they're no 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 no. they are just feminine because of the the way you feel when you go when you go around them um and so i in my journey learning about femininity i realized that it's about the five senses that you awaken in your partner and those around you like immediately you get into your home what are the, what do you do to their five senses right um because even the proverb 31 woman when the bible is talking about her in her home she's so feminine like she's like she's extremely feminine like there is no time in the bible that god talks about a man <laughs> a man who takes care of his maid servants no or who clothes his children no it's it's not there in the bible and so the feminine side of the proverbs 31 woman comes when the bible is talking about her in her home okay and so it's when you get home what not only your partner but also your children how they feel what you do to their five um their five senses so in that in that thought it's when people around are around you what do they see what do they taste what do they hear what do they feel and what do they smell <laughs> those are the five senses what do they smell and so i want to start today with what do they taste okay let me start with the taste one because the briefest and yet i've already you know for the next five weeks i want to talk about those five senses and so when the people who are around you when we say what do they taste um it really is about when they are in your presence when they are with you 
the food they eat okay let's just let's just quickly go with like the food they eat like especially for your family what do they taste what kind of food do they what aroma of food okay and i guess that's why there's always been this fight between the maid and the mom who should prepare food okay there's something about even you you know it as a mom you know that there's something about the food you've cooked and the food that somebody else has cooked and that's why i feel like batch cooking really does solve that because when you batch cook you're the one who has cooked um the person who's helping you your home manager your house help has helped cut the onions helped cut the tomatoes blah, 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 all of that shebang but you have actually done the cooking or you have trained them in how you do the cooking you understand what i mean so that what people taste in your home um is of you you know as a feminine woman but also for your husband um we we sh we share our salivary amylase like we are constantly kissing yeah bianca just went like <gasps> i mean you and your husband uh or your significant other are kissing what do you taste like like honestly what do you seriously what do you taste like um people I mean people people rush through brushing so fast like and they are gone and they are out but there's such an importance in how you taste and from both of your um, 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 entries if you know what I mean yeah down there yeah how you taste <laughs> when he tastes uh, is extremely important and that's why you'll have people advise you to eat things like pineapples so that you test better um down there so you know what i mean guys you you know what i mean so how do you taste like anytime anybody's around you and they're going to use their tongue to eat your your food to eat your food you know the food <laughs> and to kiss you what exactly do they taste do you taste like rainbows so for this week here is your challenge this week your challenge this week is to work on everything that is for tasting around you okay so your mouth how clean is your mouth how clean is your oral care how clean are you and how do you taste in the time of you know what i mean right um how does your food taste okay that is our challenge for this week let's work on how we taste so until next week when we continue on the next sense that you can work on to be more feminine until next time see you bye bye